approaches. They see people curled up in the fetal position, kind of praying. These wings are so hot, eight out of 10 can't stand the pain. That by taking the dreaded Hellfire Challenge, I am an idiot. Today, I'm heading just north of San Jose to Smoke Eater's Restaurant, where I'll take on the Hellfire Challenge. These 12 wings are so spicy that eight out of 10 challengers can't take the heat. So I'm gearing up the best way I know how, eating firehouse chili with a few of San Jose's bravest. Where's the fire? Oh, no, I've heard about firehouse chili. Out of uh, five alarms, it's only about a two alarmer. Okay, so good. not too bad. But suddenly, I'm called into action. Guys, that's me. To the Hellfire. Inside, the Hellfire wings are waiting for a fight. Today, man versus food goes to hell. For well over a decade, Smoke Eaters has been dishing out hot wings by the basket and beer by the gallon. Is there a better combination food-wise to you than wings and beer? Oh, of course not. With seven homemade sauces escalating in heat from the number one mild to the number seven inferno, these wings test even the toughest taste buds. He's going to eat a number seven. Number seven. <laughs> That's hard, Mike. <laughs> but I'm here for the Hellfire Challenge. 12 wings drenched in a sauce so spicy, it isn't even on the menu. Now, have you ever seen anyone take this challenge? I've seen someone try. I think one guy who was here, he almost passed out, didn't it so hot? He passed out. Almost. He started sweating and everything. The wings are hot, but there's one rule that's even hotter. After all 12 wings are eaten, a five-minute waiting period begins. No napkins, no beverage, all burn. Do it for five. Could you do it for five? No, I've done it for All right, five. okay, okay. Yeah, I've done it ten times. Actually, Wait, you've done it? I've done it and I've failed. Ten times? I've failed, I've failed nine times. What is the hardest part? Is it the actual eating of the wings or is it the five-minute afterburn? The five-minute afterburn. I still feel that pain in my chest. Honestly, I'm scared. So I'm heading into the kitchen to find out how they put the hell in Hellfire. Have you yourself ever attempted the Hellfire Challenge? No way. You don't see anywhere employees taking on the Hellfire Challenge. Why, just because they know better? They see people typically sitting out on the curb, hanging out, just curled up in the fetal position, kind of praying. The main ingredient in the Hellfire Challenge is the Inferno, the hottest sauce on the menu consisting of homemade hot sauce, barbecue sauce, duck sauce. That's unusual. It's got a little bit of a tang to it. Dude, <laughs> buddy, it looks like a lava lamp. <laughs> Sweet. A pile of cayenne pepper and four ounces of dried habanero completes the inferno. But the hellfire is even hotter because the challenge uses a few pumps of the already prepared inferno sauce and then adds even more habanero. How much habanero goes into the Hellfire? You're looking uh, pretty close to six ounces. Six ounces for a single order? For 12 wings. Well, we're talking about consuming nearly half a habanero pepper per wing. Ooh. Okay, that looks terrifying. Ladies and gentlemen, the 12 wings of the apocalypse, the Hellfire Wing Challenge. Come on. It's got that nice, rich, almost like a sun-dried tomato -y color to it. <laughs> but it burns your nose. Yeah, welcome to California. The rules are simple. Eat all 12 wings in under 10 minutes, lick excess sauce off your fingers, and then wait for five minutes. No beverages or napkins at any point. But first, rule one, you got to sign our waiver form. I am fully aware that I am about to eat 12 of the hottest chicken wings known to man. My mouth and or nose may bleed profusely? Is that legit? It may happen. I'm, I'm like really freaked out now. This is not, uh, I am admitting that I am an idiot. I feel like this should be written in blood. Coming up, the Hellfire Wing Challenge begins. And 
and the pain takes over. I don't think he's gonna make it. I'm in beautiful, sunny San Jose, California, enjoying the best grub this city has to offer. And I'm happy. But then, this happened. Now I'm here, pacing behind Smoke Eater's restaurant in the worst physical pain I've ever encountered. How did it come to this? Let's go back in time 10 minutes. Everybody, Hellfire Challenge! Yeah. should have been terrified. Because one order of Smoke Eater's Hellfire Wings contains more than six ounces of dried habaneros, making this sauce so red hot that out of the 9,000 people who've tried it, only 20% have succeeded. Naturally, what followed was nothing but pure, white, hot pain. 12 wings, 10 minutes or less. Nothing to eat or drink. You got no napkins. Yeah, I can see that. After you finish your 12th wing, five-minute waiting period starts. But before that starts, any sauce on your hands, you got to put them in your mouth and lick them clean, each one. And like a fool, I began. Come on, go! The spice immediately rendered me speechless. With six wings down, the sauce flowed like lava over my face and hands. And with no napkins, the longer it sits, the deeper it burns. I don't think it's gonna make it because I would need him to say that. As the inferno raged, I reached the last wing. Last one, last one. But the worst was yet to come. Got to do his fingers. finger was like licking fire, but then the torture really began. Five minutes of waiting. No relief, only time. Time and temptation. Napkin? With nothing to soothe my molten mouth. You want any? I drifted to the very brink of unconsciousness. 45 seconds! The battle was won, but the fire raged on. I'm like a towel. A wet towel. Uh, an incredible time here, but my face is on fire! In the battle of man versus food, today, at Smoke Eaters, man won! Milk, beer, not even the glorious wave of victory could extinguish the hellfire. And that's how I ended up here. Holy Praying the cool night air would soothe my face. Those last five minutes almost killed me. Breathing, just moving all those spices around, they're still in between my knuckles. I won the t-shirt and my photo on the wall. May I have some ice? But this time, the biggest prize at Smoke Eaters. Thank you, Smoke Eaters. Is the ice machine. Oh, they're so good. Adam, what was your strategy? I tried to do my very best to contain the uh, spice, but it, it's just so caked on the wings, it's virtually unavoidable. Uh -huh. So is milk a good choice? 
Ron Burgundy would have you believe otherwise, but uh, milk was a good choice. Do you remember how hot the wings were? Uh, I absolutely remember how hot the, the wings are because they're still burning my hands. If you have any more burning questions about the Hellfire Challenge or how I'm going to type with no hands, go to my vlog at TravelChannel.com.